So this is the entrance to the right of the front door off the Grand Hall to the uh, game room. The doors are tropically etched. They really, glass provides an excellent sound barrier. Uh, the floors throughout are travertine and then they transition to Ipe wood. The walls in here have almost a sheen to them. There's seven layers, I'm told, of uh, wax and imperial plaster. Throughout, there's uh, African Sapelli crown molding and base. Just a really fun room to have the family or the kids while people are in the living room um, just visit and be entertained and just a great space that's separate from the main living room. There's also dining off of this area, as you can see. Sorry about the lighting. And a big, beautiful picture window out to the waterfall. In the other video, I mentioned the spa is over the top of the waterfall. Uh, the pool is saline. Nice little vignette view out to the ocean in Molokai. A lot of the furnishings are included. Some of the artwork and certain furnishings are excluded. But the sellers do want to have the uh, property transact with a lot of furniture uh, that's quite special. Weitzman, uh, Catherine Weitzman Furniture, I believe it is. I think that's the name. Um, in fact, just a gorgeous pool table here. And ahead, as we leave the uh, game room, you can see the stairway to the upper level, rounded corners on the balustrades, back towards the front door, uh, the entry uh, recess ceiling here with crown molding, and looking out across the kitchen, which maybe that's our next view here. Beautiful dining area in the distance there. The window is, I just walked it off informally. It's about 15 feet by six feet high. So it just totally brings the outdoors in as do the pocketing sliders here off the living room. Two different types of granite, uh, San Francisco granite. And uh, I can't quite remember the name of the second one. Uh, four sinks in the kitchen, uh, two sinks that are both double-sided with polished edge stainless um, hot water instant in two places reverse osmosis in two places built-in bookshelf wine cooler double wolf ovens here uh, hand rolled bubble bubble uh, hand hand cast glass with African Sapelli mahogany doors. Beautiful island in the kitchen with drawers all around, all full extending soft clothes. Beautiful detail on the floor here. I believe it's leather. Is it leather? I'm not quite sure. I'll take that back for a second. Um, little recipe writing desk. Uh, Fisher Paykal dishwasher. And then a third one as well. Wolf uh, cooktop, pretty sure it's induction. Uh, two Sub-Zero cooler drawers. And Sub-Zero fridge. Lovely pantry, very European style pantry. Little uh, appliance caddy garage here. Gorgeous wood speakers throughout controlled in every area. Off the kitchen going towards the four car garage, uh, there's a door there. And to the right of that, all the three different zones of AC are housed in interior closets, so they're easy to service and keep clean. There's also another storage facility there, storage room, and a door to the front entrance, uh, portico share area. This is the um, pantry. I love the shelving that goes with the imperial plaster. This has a very lovely feeling about it, even though it's a little mundane, but it's neat. It's right off the kitchen.
And then we come back to the dining area. Uh, the glass shades are hand-blown glass with uh, brass detail. And then we have this wonderful dining area with 15 feet approximately of window and just total experience of the exterior and the ocean view. 10 tiki torches that are gas propane. And again, I'm standing in the dining room now looking out. Some of the furnishings that are quite special. Table is quite amazing. That's lace wood in the center of the table. Amazing grain, there is a leaf. The chairs are leather and carved uh, wood with a uh, Monstera design. And then the cellar had the chandelier made out of hammered copper in a Monstera design. 